I started the uh, Connect the Sea uh, broadband initiative uh, back in January of 2013. At the very beginning, we were very skeptical. We were, we were hesitant about the impact and the benefits that this initiative uh, was going to bring to our community. But nevertheless, uh, we said, okay, we'll do it. And uh, we started that process. And soon uh, after we embarked in this process, and even before, uh, the kickoff meeting, uh, we started understanding how important this was going to be uh, for our community. We had one of our local industry representatives, uh, Mr. Tony Byron, uh, coming to us and explaining uh, some of the issues his company, Piedmont CMG, uh, was having. They get a lot of uh, the, the, the projects and the orders and uh, of the things they have to develop online from their customers and they didn't have that service functioning properly. We've been having so much uh, connectivity problems that we were very interested in becoming involved and um, Catalina and, uh, and Heather uh, set up a meeting with uh, a couple of broadband providers there and we quickly learned that they could not support what we were looking for. We were looking at moving from the Abbeville um, area uh, because we could not support our customers, both um, US base and foreign base, nor could we support our internal customers of our employees. So we're, we're looking for symmetry in our connectivity. We upload and we download uh, megabits of data. Um, and you would not picture that in this small little town so um, working with several gov governmental agencies, we were able to uh, meet up with a company called Piedmont Rural Telephone. And Piedmont Rural Telephone, Piedmont CMG, Connect South Carolina, and roughly 20 uh, dignitaries from the state became a team. And that is a phenomenal feat. Uh, the short amount of time and the amount of people who became involved is, uh, is truly, I would almost say, a miracle. Greenwood is not going to get certified now because of um, the infrastructure we currently have in place, but this process has helped us identify where we need to work, what areas we are going to prioritize on, and our community is going to commit on developing so that eventually we can get certified and eventually we can develop that infrastructure that our companies, our schools, our people need to uh, function well. Uh, one of the lessons that I've learned uh, from this process is that uh, we usually take internet, broadband as a given. These days especially, since everything runs on internet, we just think internet is there and it's supposed to work fine. Well, it doesn't. And that's what we understood out of this process, not only from Tony's experience, but also from some other experience that we've learned about throughout this process.